Hi, brothers and sisters. I'm in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 in my regular daily reading. And the Lord just moved my heart to make this video. Paul tells us, okay, at the, at the end of it here, Paul starts telling us, uh, you know, things that we should do. Uh, verse 16, rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. 17 says, pray without ceasing. 18, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 19, quench not the spirit. In other words, be a yielded vessel to the Holy Spirit. You know, don't do things that are going to quench the spirit, like lying and cheating and stealing and and fornication and or, or going out and getting drunk or using drugs or something. Don't do things that quench the spirit. And that also means to be a yielded vessel to the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit moves your heart to do something, do it. You know, give way to the Holy Spirit. Don't quench him. Okay, verse 20, despise not prophecies. 21, prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. 22, abstain from all appearance of evil. 23, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Preserved blameless unto his coming. Okay, so I'd like to go back up to this because this is something I remember back when I was a new Christian and I just didn't get it, this pray without ceasing, number 17. Okay, a long time ago when I was a new Christian, I just didn't get that. I didn't know what that meant. Well, how can you pray without ceasing? You obviously can't pray when you're at work doing your job or what have you. You know, it doesn't mean that you should sit all day with your hands folded in prayer because you, you live on this earth and you have obligations. You have your job, you have your family, you have certain obligations you have to fulfill. So obviously it doesn't mean to sit there with your hands folded all day and pray. The Bible says, he who doesn't work will not, shall not eat. <laughs> So, you know, the Lord understands you have to go out and earn a living and what have you. So, obviously, it doesn't mean that, right? So, okay, I'm just going to read from this. Okay, what does it mean to pray without ceasing? This is at got, gotquestions.org. It's a very good site. You can just key in whatever your question is about the Bible. And up flips a, a bunch of material you can read, which is really good. Okay, question, what does it mean to pray without ceasing? Answer, Paul's command in Thessalonians to pray without ceasing can be confusing. Obviously, it cannot mean we are to be in a head bowed, eyes closed posture all day long. Paul is not referring to non-stop talking, but rather an attitude of God consciousness and God surrender that we carry with us all the time. Every waking moment is to be lived in an awareness that God is with us and that he is actively involved and engaged in our thoughts and actions. Okay, it has some more stuff to say. You can go to the site if you'd like to, but I just wanted to add that, you know, over the years I found out that, you know, this is what, this is what praying without ceasing means. It means you carry God with you all the time. You have an attitude of surrender to Him. You have an attitude of God consciousness. You're conscious of God 24-7. Whether you're engaged in an activity, whether you're talking to someone else, it's like God is a part of your consciousness. You know, part of your consciousness is still focused on Him. It's kind of hard to explain, but once you start doing it, and you do it more and more. The more you do it, the easier it gets. The more it blesses you. The more you start doing it. And the more you stay in that attitude of praying without ceasing. Okay, it took me a while to get going with it. But like I said, the more you do it, 
the the more you want to do it, the more you want to keep your focus on God. And it's it's sort of like you you fall in love with Jesus Christ. And now don't take that the wrong way. I don't mean the romantic way, but you fall in love with Jesus Christ. And when when you fall in love with somebody, um, you know what what are you like? You're you're absorbed with that person completely, right? You want to talk to them all the time, right? You want to be with them all the time, right? Think back to when you were in love. <laughs> if you were ever blessed to be in love, that's probably how you were. And that's how, it's like you fall in love with Jesus Christ, literally. You literally have him on your mind 24-7. You want to be in his presence. You want to seek his presence. You want to take time to be alone throughout the day to seek his presence and, and also read his word, but also to seek his presence. You know, pray for others, read the word, and seek his presence. And you just fall in love with him. You have him on your mind 24-7. Even when you're talking, I can be talking to somebody else. And I still feel, and I still feel Christ with me. It's as though, it's as though He's walking right there beside you, and He is with you. And it's like you're conscious of Him. You're conscious that He's right with you, and you surrender to Him. That's really important part there. Okay, you have this attitude of God consciousness and God surrender. You're yielded to Him. You become a yielded vessel to him, and you just fall in love with him. You're absorbed with him. And so when you, when you get to that state of mind, it becomes just natural. It becomes just a natural thing that you pray without ceasing. And you pray throughout the day when you can for others. And But you also have this God consciousness that you're, you're constantly conscious of Jesus. And he's always on your mind. And I don't know how else to explain it other than that, except that I, I hope you guys will do it because the more you enter this attitude of praying without ceasing, you'll see how it blesses you. You'll see how it blesses you, and you'll see how it brings you closer to the Lord. It just, it's an incredible blessing. An incredible blessing when you let yourself just fall in love with him and be a yielded vessel to him and just have him on your mind constantly. And so that's what Paul meant by that. I found that out before I ever read this page here. I found that out over the years through yielding myself to him, yielding myself to the Holy Spirit more and more. And so you, that's the way you find out what this praying without ceasing really means. So just, you know, don't do yourself out of this blessing. Okay? Let, try, to, try to fall in love with Jesus. Let yourself fall in love with him. And let him be on your mind constantly so you'll be blessed like that. Okay, the Lord just wanted me to put this out there, I feel. So God bless you guys. And I'll leave the link to this in the description box.